Okay, now we'll move on to uh, mechanism of uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction. So nucleophilic substitution reaction la <laughs> unimolecular bimolecular abdin render. Okay, wa. so bimolecular means it refers to two and unimolecular means that refers to one. So now we'll move on to the mechanism. Here you see the word yes refers to substitution, n means nucleophilic, two means bi. One is there means then that is it to be unimolecular. Okay, ma. so first step is uh, the rate of this SN2 reaction depends upon the concentration of both alkyl halide and then nucleophile. Okay, ma. so first the rate of the reaction will be equal to the K2. So that is it to be the alkyl halide. So the two refers to their order, first order, second order, and the money. So the first one the parting in the steps la see here. C and then H CH3. So here the example is octanol. Here in octanol, we are having the alcoholic group that is going to attach because of this hydrogen. So we are getting the transition state complex. Again, that leads to the formation of a bond. The product is bromo octane. Okay. Uh, that is the two octanol is the product and it come to Bromo octane, we are getting the product as octanol. And here, this B is a transition state complex. And here in SN1 mechanism, first uh, the S stands for nu substitution, nucleophilic, one stands for unimolecular. Here, the rate is first order reaction. Now, here you see the alkyl halide that reacts with the hydroxyl group, which leads to the form of alcohol with the elimination of chlorine molecule. Okay. So now we are having a tertiary butyl or carbon. So butyl attached with a bromide. So treatment with the hydroxyl group. The presence of uh, alcoholic uh, KOH get the product as tertiary butyl alcohol. Here this takes place with the two steps. First step is the formation of carbocation. And the second step uh, is the attack of the nucleophile. Okay. See here you see tertiary butyl bromide. It is a slow step process. <laughs> ionic gets the mode, so it just becomes a cationic and this bromine. Clean it as Br minus again. So OH minus it leads to form the OH group attached to this carbon. Okay. Now having a tertiary butyl alcohol. See so now uh, this example shows that the tertiary butyl bromide is not optically active. Okay, it is optically inactive. So this refers to the study of uh, study with the help of uh, polarimeter so that we can able to predict whether the molecule is optically active or inactive okay and also we can able to predict whether it is extra rotatory or levo rotatory next comes elimination reaction so here in elimination reaction, the double bond that is present between alpha and the beta carbon is formed. How it is formed mean by releasing a halogen that is attached to a alpha carbon. So alpha carbon means uh, halogen group carbon. Here this is referred to the al alpha group. This is beta. Like that we have to tell. So here you see the hydrohalogenation. That is dehydrohalogenation reaction. It is a dehydrohalogenation reaction. See first uh, the KBR gets removed and this OH first with uh, one hydrogen from this uh, so that we get the uh,
now with the bromopropyl to bromopropyl uh, on treatment with alcoholic ethyl so we get the product as here you see one car hydrogen from this uh, methyl group uh, removed and ch2 double bond okay so that we are getting a minus product one butane and the major product is two butane So is the high molecular elimination reaction. Here you see one chloropropane. Chlorine groups gets removed, and here uh, the OH group from KOH that is attached to this, so that we get the. You get a bond shifting as like this. That is this bond shift to this, and here it shift, and then it is removed as KCl. And in unimolecular reaction, this is a first order reaction. So that alcohol is removed with this one, it gets to form. Here you see one hydrogen from this carbon is removed. Is a H two O, another hydrogen along with this acyl uh, elimination, we get a uh, alkene product. Okay, so here the it takes place with the following steps. That is a slow step and then fast step. In slow step, it's a rate determining step. And here you see. Uh, and in the first step, what happens is that the OH group attaches to this hydrogen, it is elevated as water. We are getting this bond shifting as like this, so that we are getting two methyl alkene. Okay, so that is the product formation. So now uh, the reaction with the uh, metals. Here you see, alkene reacts with the metal to form a compound that contains a carbon metal bond, which is known as organo metallic uh, compound. Okay. See so now, uh, it takes place with the following. The first one is the Grignard reaction. Here the Grignard reaction is simply said to be R M G X, which means R refers to alkyl, M G is magnesium. And then X refers to the halogen group. So this combination is said to be Grignard reagent. Okay, so uh, Grignard reagent is formed by reaction with the ethyl bromide. And there is any halogen group formed with magnesium. In the presence of dry ether, we get the product as alkyl magnesium halide. Okay, so simply ethyl magnesium. Bromide will be formed as a product as here. Yeah. Okay. Then comes the reaction with active metals like sodium lead. See now we have taken ethyl bromide on treatment with lithium in the presence of dry ether. We get the product as ethyl lithium with the elimination of lithium bromide. So it is a organo metallic compound. So that is the metals or the organic group or another than the organic. Organo metallic compounds. Okay. See now comes the reduction reaction. See in reduction reaction, the haloalkane reacts with the hydrogen in the presence of nickel palladium catalyst with a temperature of 523 Kelvin, so that we get the product as ethane. It this takes place uh, with the phosphorus. Treatment with the hydrogen iodide is alkyl along with the halogen group. In the presence of red phosphorus, we get the product as alkane with the elimination of iodine. Okay, now comes the uses of haloalkane. <laughs> the haloalkane will have lots of uh, uses in this application. First comes chloroform. So chloroform is used as a major solvent in a pharmaceutical industry, also for producing pesticide, and also as a drug which is yeah, act as an anesthetic. So in the mycotic portfolio, the chloroform is used for drugs. 
also anatomical specimens are preserved under the curve. It is used then iodoform which act as an antiseptic and for dressing wounds. Okay, so kaiyono and this one. That is called the iodoform used for drum. Okay, so that is the antiseptic and gas that is there. Then uh, carbon tetrachloride. So this carbon tetrachloride, which is used as a dry cleaning agent, and also it is used as a solvent for oils, fats, and waxes. Okay. See here, this is CCL4 that is non-combustible. CCL4 on the area could be there, right? Combustible, I mean, ah, it can catch fire in the presence of oxygen. It is air, so that we get the Compound gets catch fire immediately. But here, CCL4 it is non-combustible, and in the name of pyrin uh, or aspirin, it is used as a fire extinguishing in oil and petrol. For that combination, it is used. Okay. So these are all the uses of the halo alkane.